Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk a little bit about lights in our Tsunami 2 and Ekonami decoders and what different lighting effects you have at access in your decoders. So let's get started. Now when you get your decoder, you have multiple lighting outputs, either four, six, or eight, depending on which decoder format you choose. Now each of these lighting effects has access to all of our over 20 different lighting effects that you can choose for your model. Now the lighting effect is simply chosen by setting a CV. Each lighting output, the headlight and backup light, and then FX3 through FX8, each have a CV that determines the lighting output or the effect that you see. Now this is where you would choose things like Mars lights, gyro lights, rotary beacons, and so forth. So are you familiar with all the different lighting effects and what they look like? Well, let's take a look at a few. So first off here on my model, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlight, and that's function zero. Now with the default, you have what's called a dyno light, and a, or a diesel light in this case. Now diesel light will gradually increase the brilliance of the light. The idea is that it's simulating the element heating up and creating that full bright light. So as we turn it off, you'll see that light fade down. So we'll go ahead and turn it off now. And you can kind of see how that fade looks. Now we're gonna turn it back on. And you can see that it's a quick fade, but it's a fade nonetheless. Now let's say we wanted to look at a Mars light. Now when a Mars light, we have that flashing reflector behind the light bulb in a figure eight pattern, and that's what creates that high flash and then low flash, and high flash and then low flash, and that's what that's doing. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our headlight, and we're gonna turn it into a Mars light. So we're gonna change CV49, which is our headlight output effect register, and we're gonna set that to a value of 130, which is two for our Mars light, plus 128 since this model uses LEDs. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now you can see that nice Mars light pattern as it shines in the light. Now some of the other lights we, effects we have are the single pulse strobe. And a single pulse strobe is this gases inside the strobe that have electrons flowing through and when they get to a certain state, they emit a photon or a flash of light. Now this pattern is somewhat irregular so that's why we have a second strobe light on the lighting effects. But first we're gonna go ahead and pick a single pulse strobe, which is lighting effect number five. So I'm gonna set CV49 to a value of 133. And now you can see that single pulse strobe as it's flashing in the light. Now the other single pulse strobe, strobe two, is just a different lighting pattern. So if you had two different strobe lights on the top, as I mentioned, they're not a constant flash. So you can have this look of two lighting effects going in and out of sync with each other. And that's what, that's what single pulse strobe A or single pulse strobe one or pulse two is. Now both of these have phase A, phase B, which is on or off. So they can be exactly opposite. And the case most commonly used in that is with ditch lights. So let's go ahead and take the lighting effect. Now we're gonna show you the double pulse strobe, which is lighting effect number six. So with an LED, we're gonna go ahead and set CV49 to a value of 134. And now you can see that double pulse strobe light effect. Now some of the other lighting effects we have in there are a gyro light. So let's go ahead and show you that one. So this is a gyro light. We also have a rotary beacon and rotary beacon is a value of seven. So we're gonna take CB49, we're gonna set that to a value of 135 and that should give you the illusion of standing location with a rotary beacon flashing around in front. Now we also have what's called a stratolite, and a stratolite is three different stages of the lighting effect. And this simulates the three individual light bulbs that light in sequence around the stratolite. So now when I change CV49 in this case to the value of 136, which is lighting effect number eight, now you get that stepped light pattern that you would see in a stratolite. Now there's other light effects in here, including a FRED or a flashing rear end device. And this is really cool if you wanted to add a FRED on say a pusher unit, or maybe the end of a dead string of locomotives that you're pulling around. Uh, this is really cool lighting effect. So we're gonna go ahead and set CV49 to a value of 139. And you should see that single pulse every so often simulating a flashing rear end device.
Now, some of the other lighting effects that we've added to the Tsunami 2 and Econami over and above the original Tsunami is on-off dimmable one or on-off brilliance one and on-off brilliance two. And this allows you to turn the light on and then adjust the brilliance using a CV rather than having to fiddle with different value resistors. Now with on-off brilliance one, you can take CV61 and adjust the brilliance. So when I'm programming on this locomotive here, I can take CV61 and you can adjust it down. And I don't know where it's at currently, so we're gonna take it to 255 for the max brilliance. And you can see how that light has gotten bright. Now if we take CV61 down to 100, now you can see how that light has dimmed significantly. Now, there are a lot of different lighting effects included in the Tsunami 2, including things like the opposite direction dim, so you can dim in the forward direction, so that would typically apply to the reverse light, and you can dim in the reverse direction, which would normally apply to the headlight. There's even a functioning brake light, so if you take your F11 brakes and you apply, you can actually have a light get brighter to show that the brakes are applied. And CV59 determines the flash rate. It determines how fast that light is going to flash. Higher values equals slower flash rate. Basically think of it as the seconds between flash. So right now, I don't know what this locomotive is set to, so I'm gonna take CV59, I'm gonna set it to a value of two, and you should be seeing a very high and fast flash rate of that Mars light. Now when I take CV59, we're gonna go ahead and try a value of seven. Now you can see how much slower that flash rate is. So now we're going to go ahead and take our headlight. We're going to set it back to the default of a on-off dimmable but a diesel light with that slight fade we talked about. Now on this particular locomotive, we have three lighting effects hooked up. We have the headlight, which we've been playing with now. We also have the number boards. So when I turn on function 24, you will see the number boards illuminate, but they're dimmed. They're not quite as bright as the headlight. Now the next one is function 25 and that's the FX4 lighting output and this one is actually set to a Mars light. So now when you see this locomotive rolling down the track, you have three different lighting effects, the headlight, the dimmed number boards and the Mars light that are all illuminated on your model. Now you can go through and set these to do anything you want. You have a lot of different features and effects. So now you can have a properly illuminated locomotive as it's rolling down the track with all these different lighting effects. Now for more information on how to set these lights up, be sure to check out our user's guide at soundtracks.com and contact our support department if you have any further questions.